What's going on there YouTube and welcome to Fresh Comic Stories and guys today we are finally going to jump back into more X-Force comics or sorry beginning our coverage over X-Force because guys I had one subscriber ask me to cover X-Force well we could not cover X-Force before we covered Messiah Complex and so we wrapped up Messiah Complex a couple weeks ago and so we can finally jump into X-Force comics. So guys, please hit that like button down below and also subscribe for more comic book stories in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But guys, we are going to dive into X-Force number one through six. Guys, I do hope you enjoy this run. Now, the story starts off with Wolverine and Wolfbane being invited to Angel's home in the middle of Colorado, which we come to find out that they were invited by Cyclops because Cyclops got word about something happening at a shield base, where we come to find out that the leader of the purifiers, which was Matthew Wiseman had just turned himself over to S.H.I.E.L.D., which is strange because the Purifiers has a goal to kill mutants across the world. They were made by William Stryker, but after he died, Matthew took over where he left off and continued his goal to kill mutants. But out of nowhere, he turned himself in. Now, of course, it was a trick because we come to find out that Matthew Wiseman had people working inside S.H.I.E.L.D. And so it was all a ruse to get into the base of S.H.I.E.L.D. so he could get something very important. The question is, though, what? Which this scares Cyclops because the purifiers never attacked humans, really. They only attacked the mutant race. But since they attacked a base of S.H.I.E.L.D., they are now attacking humans. And so that's the reason why Cyclops is so worried right now. Why are they attacking humans for? Also, what did they take from this S.H.I.E.L.D. base? But then you have Cyclops saying he is not going to wait for them to make their first move. Instead, his idea is to reform the X-Force team, which not every single member, but most of the ones we saw in the Messiah Complex storyline. Now, Wolverine has a problem with some of the people Cyclops is trying to put on the team like Wolfbane in X-23. But at this point, Cyclops already moved forward with his plan. And now Wolverine is stuck being on the X-Force team. But he told no to Wolfbane is not allowed to be on this new X-Force team because she never got in her hands dirty before. She always was one of the good X-Men people. And X-23 and Warpath are okay to be on the new X-Force team. And so we jump over to North Dakota, where we see the X-Force team are on a stakeout on one of the bases of the Purifiers, which thanks to X-23 tracking skills, this is where the new leader of the group, Matthew Wiseman, is hiding out at. Now, the biggest thing about this part is that while the X-Force are outside the base, inside we see what the purifiers took from S.H.I.E.L.D., which is the body of Nimrod, which is huge because Nimrod is a sentinel from the future, where in the future he is basically the perfect form of a sentinel. But he came to the past, but when he came to the past a few times, he would help other groups who wanted to kill the mutant race because again this machine is a near perfect form of a sentinel which means if they are able to get him to turn back on it will lead to a huge problem for the x-men but then we learn that nimrod is really not the purifier's biggest thing to worry about they also have the body of Bashan, and this is huge because Bashan is the combination of Nimrod and Master Mold together. 
And so this being is a very powerful and could literally lead to the death of the mutant race. But once they were able to use the part of Nimrod to get Bastion back up and running, he quickly tells the purifiers that the mutants are detected nearby, which is like, oh boy, it's about to go down right now. Which it does go down because you have the X-Force start to attack the base of the purifiers, which of course it is a bloodbath. They are cutting through these guys left and right. But the biggest thing about this battle is that Wolverine and X-23 smell the scent of Wolfbane, which is huge because Wolverine told her that she cannot join the X-Force team because she never got her hands dirty before. And so Wolverine is trying to keep her out of harm's way, but as well the life of a killer. The problem is that she ignored his orders and went after Wiseman, but she ended up getting shot in front of the X-Force team. And now it's kind of like, oh crap, they have Wolfsbane. Now, luckily, she only got shot in the knee, but Wiseman keeps telling the X-Force team if they do not surrender, he will shoot her. And so Wolverine tells his team to stop what they are doing and just let the man capture them. Which, of course, the purifiers begin the process of binding them and about to take them in. But X-23 has a different plan in mind. Because we come to find out she is holding onto a grenade. Which then the grenade goes off and causing a huge explosion. Which then caused a scene where everyone is trying to recover or get away. Now X-23 tries to go after Wiseman who again is the leader of the purifiers and holding Wolfbane hostage. But he was able to get away with Wolfbane mainly because he has her doped up on heroin right now. Now we jump back to the home of Angel which also this time Angel joins this conversation. But you have Wolverine kind of update Cyclops on what had happened at the base of the purifiers. Which of course the whole return thing of Bastion but also the fact that Wolfbane has now been captured. And so you have Wolverine kind of freaking out about everything but wondering why Wolfbane was so bent on joining the X-Force team for. Which this is where you have Cyclops tell the X-Force team that basically the father of Wolfsbane has joined the Purifiers. She wanted to join the X-Force team to go after her father to figure out why he joined the Purifiers for. Now we jump over to the Purifiers where we learn that the group is falling apart. Because you have wise men talking about how Bastion have basically taken over the group and not telling him anything about the future plans at all. That is when Bastion tells Wiseman and a new character, Eli Bard, that his plan is to bring back someone the X-Force left behind in the bottom of the ocean. Which that character is Magus, who is a Technarsi. I'm pretty sure I just butchered that. But he is a being who has an array of different powers. But the one power he has that is so important for this storyline is that he is able to infect people with the techno virus, which is going to play a huge role in this storyline. Now, the story shifts over where we see a bunch of different characters who have been enemies of the X-Men. These people are not just people with powers who want to hurt the X-Men for no plain reason. These people who have hunted down the X-Men and other mutants because they are trying to kill off the mutant race. You have Donald Pierce who used to work with the Hellfire Club get picked up by the Purifiers. We also see that the Leper Queen gets picked up as well, which her origins where her own child was a mutant that at a young age burned their home down, but also left her body covered in burns, which led her to lead her own anti-mutant group. But also she gets picked up as well by the purifiers. And then they also pick up Cameron Hodges as well. But the last person they picked up is Graydon Creed. This man died and the purifiers basically went to this man grave and said, pull him out of the grave. We're going to bring him back to life. 
The question is though, how are they going to bring him back to life? But all these people were people that hunted down the X-Men and the mutant race. We then pick up with the X-Force team still trying to locate Wolfsbane. Because remember that she was kidnapped by the purifiers and her father, which his name is just Craig. But when the X-Force team finds her, they find her tied up to a chair. Now, this is a big thing right here, though. When the X-Force team finds her, somewhere else, Bastion and Wiseman are having a conversation over if Wiseman killed Wolfsbane. Because Bastion ordered Wiseman to do it. But Wiseman told Bastion he did. But we both know he did not do it. That Wolfsbane is still alive. Now we then see Bastion take Wiseman and Eli Bard into another room where we see everyone the purifiers have picked up earlier are all tied down right now, which this is where we see Bastion tell Wiseman and Eli that he is going to use Magnus' ability to infect people with the techno virus to control these people who are tied down. Remember, these people are a bunch of people who try to kill the X-Men and the mutant race. And so he's going to use the techno virus to control them, but to have them help him continue the goal to get rid of the X-Men and the mutant race. Now we pick up with the X-Force team able to get Wolfbane back to the home of Angel, hoping they can help her. Because right now we see that the X-Force team bought in elixir now he has the ability to heal people and so they are trying to use him to heal wolfbane because remember the purifiers gave wolfbane a high dose of heroin and so right now he is trying to get rid of the heroin out of her body the problem is that though we see that something else was done to her besides the heroin that the purifiers and her father mess with her mind because we see that as soon as Angel walks in the room and see how she was doing, she turns into her wolf form and cuts up Elixir, Angel, and even X-23 as well, leaving them in their own puddles of blood. The biggest thing about this part is that Wolfbane also cuts off the wings of Angel, where then she calls up the, she calls up the purifiers and tells them that she has the wings of angel now here comes the big thing about this storyline we see that wiseman and the group of purifiers begin their plan to take back their team from bastion because ever since bastion has came back to life he had taken complete control of the purifiers and so right now wiseman is trying to get the group back from bastion which we learn that the reason why wiseman did not kill wolfbane is because he was able to use her father to play with her mind so that she would see Angel as a demon. She would then tear off his wings, but deliver the wings to the purifiers so they can use the apocalypse DNA in Angel when he was Archangel to make their own warriors with their own version of Angel wings. But here comes the big finale of chapter four. When the purifiers were making their angels, that is when you have Angel freak out and basically turn back into his alter ego, Archangel. Now you have the X-Force team try their best to kind of stop Archangel, but he is too strong and too quick for them. And so he was able to basically beat every single member of the X-Force and then he dips out because he is able to sense that someone is using his blood, which is mixed with the Apocalypse blood, to make other people with wings like his. And so right now Archangel feels like he should go after them and kill them which those people are the purifiers that is being led by wise men. But the big point of this chapter is that it leads up to a war between the two different groups of the purifiers because wise men takes his new angels that he made to go after Bastion and his purifiers, which of course this leads to a bloodbath in the whole building. The thing is that neither side knows that angel is coming that Angel, well sorry, Archangel, is coming and he is pissed at the fact that his wings were used to make new angels. 
And so right now you have him coming, but the X-Force is following him as well. And so right now, this is leading up to a big battle between all these different sides. The question is, who is going to make it out of this alive? Now, the final chapter is used more as a way where Wolverine is telling Cyclops what had happened with everyone coming together for the big battle, which Wolverine tells Cyclops that since the two different groups of purifiers were so busy fighting each other, and also the fact that Archangel is fighting the newly made angel that was made by Wiseman, he was able to sneak up on Bastion, which now you have Bastion fighting against Wolverine. And so with that happening, you have Wiseman run away to kill the one thing is helping Bastion right now which is the Magus organism. And so when he tries to kill it, he finds Eli Bard, the man who he believed was on his side, but really was a rogue member, that he played both sides of the purifiers so that he'll be able to get the one thing he wants, which was the techno virus inside of him, because he wants to kill everyone. But the story gets wrapped up with basically Wiseman being killed by Eli Bard, who is now combined with the techno virus. Then you also have Bastion getting away from Wolverine, which now means that Bastion and group of purifiers were able to get away and move on to their new base. Now, the big thing about this chapter, well, one of the biggest things about this chapter is that after Archangel killed off all the fake angels that were made by Wiseman, he turned back to normal, which for the X-Force team, this is a huge miracle. But then we also see that Wolfbane had killed her father because her mind was so messed up that anytime she sees an angel, she has to kill that person. And when objects in the room where her father and her was in, they turn into like shadow wings, which then triggers her to kill her own father. But this is the end of the story. Wolverine and Cyclops talk about what to do next because now all their old enemies are alive again and they have to kill them before they kill the X-Men. And so now the X-Force has no choice but to stay together and go after a bunch of different bad guys. But guys, this is the end of today's video, so please leave me a like down below and also subscribe for more comic book stories in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read, well please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But guys, I will see you on the next comic book video. Later guys.